Good morning. Good morning, people of God. Listen, God renews strength. God renews strength through sincere prayer, praise, and worship. You understand me? I don't care what the enemy sends your way. I don't care what's been trying to hold you down, drain your energy. Look at that beautiful morning sky. 6 a.m. It's a beautiful, what, Thursday morning. The sky is beautiful. Look at it over here. It's mixed with pink. I don't know if the camera does it any justice, but it's got like bluish pink. But listen, I don't care what the enemy tries to send you away. When you can pray, when you can praise all evil, <laughs> All evil has to fall off. You understand me? All evil has to fall off. You know? The prayers of the righteous availeth much. And folk will be looking at you. Especially folk who know that they spend time and hours doing evil things against your name, against you. And they see you bounce back. You know? They they wondering, where is he getting this strength? Where is she getting this, this energy, this strength? It comes from God. You know, the tactic of the enemy is to drain God's people. Drain you so you are too tired to do your work. So you are too tired to focus. So your mind stays blocked. You can't focus on your work. You can't focus on your purpose. You can't focus on the things of God. You can't get into the word of God properly. And the enemy will even try to send a spirit of slumber. So you slumber. You won't read the word of God. Because that's where all your power comes from. But if you can pray and praise and you fight your way through like Daniel. Daniel fight, fought his way through. And at some point when he was praying, they didn't incorporate it fasting. You understand? You got to fight for your miracles. You got to fight for your blessings. You got to fight for your healing. You got to fight for your deliverance. And the way maker will come. He's a way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Our God, that is who he is. Oh, glory. Come on now. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. Our God, that is who you are. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. You got to praise your way through. You got to fight your way through. You think the enemy going to let you just have a miracle like that? You don't think he, you think he really wants you to have this supernatural breakthrough you think he wants you to accomplish something that nobody else in your family has ever accomplished before you think he want to see you walking around every day with a smile on your face while a majority of people in the world is just sunk down in the sadness and the oppression of spiritual warfare no you got to continue to fight because it's some folk who looking at your life they seeing you make it through they seeing how you keep getting back up they knowing that you're going through stuff, but they seeing how you keep fighting and keep going through. So you motivating folk to be bold to the enemy. You know, he sends spirits of fear to make some folk cower down at what they don't, they don't understand, right? Especially when it comes to spiritual warfare, he tries to intimidate folk. But I live to tell you, child of God, I live to tell you, child of God, that no matter what you face, even if you don't understand spiritual warfare, you know you're facing things beyond your understanding. Like I was talking to one young lady, she said she woke up and it's amazing how evil people can be, right? But they out there. She said she she wakes up and she have these scratches, these scratches on her, these visible scratches on her. She even sent me a picture and she was afraid. I said, that's what the enemy wants you to do, be fearful. But you see, people can do all kind of evil things and if somebody is trying to, some sometimes witches I've heard another young lady tell her testimony how which astro projected into her home. You understand what I'm saying? People can burglarize your home in the spiritual. Remember, life is spiritual. People can attack you in the spiritual realm. And if somebody is spending all this time, it takes hours and it takes time. You understand what I'm saying? It takes time to spend to work and be evil and send evil curses on somebody and to want to project yourself into somebody's life so much they are intentional about trying to torment some people torment and kill some people right so therefore you got to be intentional about your prayer life and you can't be praying no you understand so you got to be strategic about your prayers too you got to pray warfare prayers you got to be bold you got to pray the fire 
and the judgment of God down on your enemies, your spiritual enemies. You can't play. You understand? Because the enemy ain't playing. Those who use it, he ain't playing. Those who try to take your life, who want to hurt you, they not playing. So some of these testimonies that people be sharing with me is people going through real life things. You understand? And if you can wake up and be positive and put a smile on your face and fight through in the midst of all the evil and negativity that is in the world to just share some positivity, to just continue to share the word of God, to just share your knowledge, to be obedient to what God is leading you to do and say, where he's leading you to go, you know, it's helping somebody. Folk may never tell you, but they watching that light. It's that little light. Let that little light shine because it's that little light that's helping some folk get delivered. They may not have the words to express themselves or tell you at the moment that you may never know, but you just keep shining that light and keep praying and keep going. We have an adversary. We all have only one enemy. And it's unfortunate he got some fallen angels that's with him. And he got some people whose minds that he done turned. But just keep shining that light. Keep praying. Keep praising. Keep pressing on. Keep going. This little light of mine. I done made up my life. I done made up my mind. I'm going to serve God to the, to the day I die. And really, I'll never die. You know, because life is spiritual. And those who are in Christ, you know, you're going to live on forever. Be, fear, fear not those who can kill the body but not the soul. Life is spiritual. This little light of mine, mm, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, mm, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine all on my job. Come on, y'all. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. I'm gonna let it shine Oh glory, hallelujah Let's go be great Let's continue to pray Ye for one another And know that if God be for you Who can be against you? You just can't cower down Be bold, be strong, be mighty Continue to get back up Continue to pray your way through Press your way through Fight your way through Get up, move Let's go, let's get it